Hello and welcome to my second Python tutorial. If you haven't seen the first, I recommend you see that uh, before watching this. It's on my channel. And so this tutorial I will be teaching about variables and functions. So an example of a variable in very simplest form is a equals 10. So a variable can be anything unspecified. I have set a to equal 10. So now when we put a, we get 10. But if we put 10, we don't get a because this would be the variable. And um, we can also, with variables, get a user input, such as lunch is equal to input, which is a built-in function. That's why it's purple. And into the parameters, which we will put our prompt. So when we come across this in a program, it'll ask, um, what's for lunch? So, what's for lunch? And I leave a little space because when you type in your answer, you want it, it, it'll, if I don't put the space, it'll come after the question mark, then it'll look funny. So what's for lunch? Uh, what a sandwich. So now lunch is a sandwich. So now on to functions. So when we want to create a function, it's called defining a function. So def, that's the starting thing, is short for define. And we'll have just a short greet function. Then in this, these parentheses that we have right here, this is called the parameters or the arguments, just like um, because we're making our own function. So input is also a built-in function, and this is the argument or parameter, whichever you prefer to say. I'm going to go along with argument. And then we have a colon. And so what is this greet function going to do? Well, so it's going to greet the person. So it's going to ask, what's your name? and then say hello, whatever your name is. So we're going to use the same layout as we did here with the input. So uh, name is equal to, sorry, input. Uh, what's your name? All right, and when we uh, press enter, it automatically indents for us because Python is nice. All right, so now it's going to print in these um, uh, quotation marks or single quotation quotes, whatever. Um, it's called a string just like when I put print hello world in my previous tutorial. So this will be print hello. Then we have a comma because we're going to put our variable named name. And so this is not a string. Oops. So we double press enter. And then we if we type in greet, it says function greet at blah, 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 blah. This is just where it's stored. It doesn't really matter, but now we know that we've created a function. So greet. And what's my name? Oops, I forgot to put a space in there. My name's Eliyahu. And it says now, hello, Eliyahu. Now we can make functions for um, much different things, such as this function that I've already created called convert.py. Just gotta bring that here. All right, so anything with this pound symbol is a comment. So um, 
this just is for the human reader and not for Python. Python says, oh, this is a pound symbol. Let me skip to the next line. P pound symbol, skip to the next line. Oh, here's something I need to read. So this is just telling me that it's stored as convert.py. This is telling me what the function is going to do. Def main, and it's called main because um, it's just a standard for when you have a module, which is convert.py. And so this is the introductory statement that I've stated. And print, this is a program that converts Celsius to Fahrenheit. And so that doesn't really do anything. It just gets the user to know what you're doing. Um, skips a line. Then this is where the input is. Celsius equals eval input enter degrees Celsius here. I have eval because previously we put input right here but that's because we want a string. Now we have eval because we want a number. We want how many degrees Celsius. This is the degrees in Fahrenheit is calculated. So Fahrenheit is a regular variable that equals nine fifths times this little asterisk is a multiplication symbol. Celsius, the variable that we put in. So if we put in 23, so it's 9 fifths times 23 plus 32. And then this is the final product. So it's going to print. We put in 23. So 23 degrees Celsius is equal to um, 73.4 Fahrenheit degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and then main, that that's not very necessary. I, I could take that out. So let's run this. Let's see how it looks. All right. So this is the introductory statement, and it's now asking enter degrees in Celsius. 23, 73.4 degrees Fahrenheit. So that about sums it up for my tutorial on variables and functions. I will see you next tutorial.